Welcome to this series on entomology. Throughout this journey, we'll delve into the primary orders of insects, exploring their distinctive characteristics, morphology, ecological roles, behaviors, and other notable features. For a start, let's look at the salient features of the insects placed under the order Coleoptera. Beetles belong to the order Coleoptera within the superorder Holometabola. They are characterized by their front pair of wings which are hardened into protective wing cases called electra. This distinguishes them from most other insects. There are approximately 400,000 described species today. Coleoptera is therefore the largest of all orders with 40% of described insects and 25% of all known animal species being placed under it. There are estimates that suggest that there may be between 0.9 and 2.1 million total species of beetles and new discoveries are being made often. The adaptations exhibited by beetles are remarkable. Beetles are found in nearly every habitat except for the sea and the polar regions. They fulfill a variety of ecological roles. Beetles can be predators, decomposers, pests, beetles such as the Colorado potato beetle, the pink ball weevil, the coconut hispine beetle, the mountain pine beetle are all serious agricultural pests. Others like the ladybird beetles are beneficial predators. They feed on aphids, scale insects, thrips and other insects which can be harmful to the crops. Certain beetles like the common eastern firefly have light emitting organs that are used for mating and communication as well. Many beetles exhibit an aposematic coloration signaling their toxicity while others mimic these patterns for protection. Additionally, beetles showcase effective camouflage which helps their survival especially in sandy environments. Numerous beetle species are known for their vibrant colors and they are collected for decorative purposes. Over 300 beetle species, mainly larvae like mealworm and rhinoceros beetle larvae are considered food in many cultures. Morphology The general anatomy of the beetle follows a typical insect structure, but there are adaptations and novelties across the species. Despite uniform anatomy, specific organs can vary widely across beetle families and help in identification. This could be the shape of the antenna, the leg segments, the mouth parts or even the male genital structures. Beetles exhibit remarkable diversity in head structure. The head is usually heavily sclerotized and the mouth parts are projected forward or downward. The eyes are compound eyes and they vary. Some species having split eyes like the aquatic world geek beetles while others have notched eyes or divided eyes. Ocel eyes or simple eyes located further back on the head can be found in certain species as well. The antennae are segmented and typically consist of 11 parts. They arise between the eyes and the mandible and the scape and the pedicel forming the first two segments. Antennae are essential for sensory perception. They vary widely in form. Tiger beetles use these rigid antennae for obstacle detection. Longhorn beetles can employ these antennae for balance. It can be used in mating, defense, grasping, etc. Mouthparts All beetles have chewing and lapping mouthparts. The mandibles are prominent and they serve functions from grasping to cutting. Maxillary and labial palpi aid in food manipulation. Sexual dimorphism in mandibles is common, with males having larger ones than females. This anatomical diversity aids in beetle identification and underscores their adaptability to diverse environments and behaviors. The thorax comprises of two distinguishable segments, the prothorax and the petrothorax. Petrothorax is actually formed from the fusion of the meso and metathorax. It houses all six legs and both pairs of wings. When viewed from above, beetles appear to have three sections, but the middle segment is actually the protonum, which is part of the thorax, and the rear is obscured by the wings. The segmentation is very clear on the abdomen. 
Beetles possess multi-segmented legs which terminate into two or five tarsal segments with claws that help in locomotion. But yet adaptations vary. The aquatic beetles have modified legs for swimming with rows of hairs, while male diving beetles can use suctoral cups to grasp the female. Other beetles like the scarabs and the ground beetle have widened spine-like legs for digging. Certain species like the flea beetle and flea weevil have enlarged hind leg femurs. This facilitates powerful leaps or jumps. These diverse leg adaptations also illustrate the versatility of the beetles in navigating and conquering their environments. Beetles possess hardened forewings called elektra which serve as protective coverings for their hind wings. The hind wings are fragile and membranous. In most species, these elektra are hardened and shell-like. They need to be raised in flight. Some species like the rove beetle have a very short elektra. Blister beetles on the other hand have a much softer elektra. In beetles like the soldier beetle, the elektra are soft, earning them the name leather wings. These wings are fragile and they release defensive chemicals when ruptured. Water beetles have the ability to trap air bubbles under their elektra and help in respiration underwater.